Morning, hello. Whew, I am just having a little morning steam. I worked with these guys on a paid campaign, but me featuring it here isn't an ad. But yeah, oh, just having a little morning steam after my workouts. So good, even Matt just got involved with it. My skin feels amazing after that. I'm gonna tan tonight. I need to be tanned tomorrow. I've been pale for far too long. I hope you guys are well. My hair is so greasy. I am literally 100% dry shampoo right now. I am just gonna whip up a Victoria sponge cake because it's Matt's birthday in July and I'm probably gonna end up buying one because he wants like a full sugar version. However, I was like, oh, I wanna just like test myself and try and make a healthier Victoria sponge. You know, I have any issue with sugar because I don't. I love sugar. It means we can then have the whole cake for breakfast. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> Damage goods, damage should never been. Thought you were bulletproof. Look at you. What happened? Did she? Sponge. I don't think I've made a Victoria sponge before. Not in this house, anyway. And I think it turned out quite well. We didn't have any cream to go in the middle. We didn't have any strawberries that weren't frozen. So I basically got my strawberries and put them in a pan and heated them to make kind of like a puree. And it worked. It actually really worked. And I need fresh strawberries, fresh raspberries, and some kind of low fat cream to go in it. And then I feel like I'll have mustard it. I'm so proud of myself. I had to add bananas onto this one because I ran out of fruit. But yeah, pretty impressed with that. Okay, we are gonna go on a walk now. I'm gonna make some lollies because this arrived today and I'm so excited. I've just popped some blueberries in the bottom. I've just cleaned it with boiling hot water. Now I don't actually have any juice or any squash so I am going to try and blitz some apple in a blender and put it with some water and try and do it that way then add some strawberries in I'm so excited I love ice lollies I've not made my own for years So I just blended some strawberries with my apple and I'm so excited for this. And I know I'm really pale right now, but at the moment I have just been wearing well for the last week, just literally SPF every single day on my face. And it feels great. I'm so, so, so happy. So I'll link the SPF I just applied below. Important to put on your neck and very moly. And even if the sun isn't out and it's cloudy, you can still get the rays hitting, even in winter. Snack. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's good. It's good. Don't feel a jump for the shit. I'll tap when I speak. I'll cap with the speech till they cut up in the rapture. Good morning guys, so I've been craving for cappuccino bread so I'm going to make my own this morning and then whilst it's like cooking and doing its thing I'm going to do a workout and then I get to have my cappuccino bread at the end. I tanned yesterday, I'll link the tan below that I use, I've currently got no makeup on, just tan and I walked in this morning and Matt was like oh you look tanned but you look nice and I was like oh thanks, I feel so much better with a tan, okay. Let's make the focaccia. We love bread. So we've got some flour, some olive oil, 200 ml of my lovely assistant. You put less in rather than more, right? Good. Because... Put in like six of the oil, so, but I don't know if you want that might... This might actually be too much, looking at it. Had an absolute mare. We added too much water. Damn. Please. There we go. Paul to the rescue. Oh, it's very wet, but Paul Hollywood does say this mix should be very wet, and that's why focaccia is hard because it's very wet, but it's a lot wetter than the last time I made this, and most of it is on my hands. 
So I'm just leaving it to rise for a few mins. And now I'm leaving it to rest and then I'm going to cover it and leave it to rest. Bread is very needy. Right, I am going to make this really nice and garlicky, so I'm going to chop this up. I think this is garlic, I hope it is. That's a lot of garlic, but I'm so happy to put that in there. In we go. Hello, baby. Yay, they worked. My lollies worked. I got a new piece of furniture. <laughs> So it just arrived, so I'm gonna open this now. Okay, I really can't be bothered to fix this up. Hello, so I've only done one very little workout today, which actually barely broke a sweat. <laughs> but we'll go on a little walk later. We're going on walks really late still, just so we don't see anyone or go near anyone. As you can see behind me, I've still not put my table up. So now it is dinner time. I'm really cold now. It's been very weird weather. It's been like really hot, then really cold. And we're gonna make some homemade pizzas, which I'm very excited about. So let's go. This is very special mozzarella, all the way from Italy. Looks like cucumber, but it's courgette. This is gonna be nice on pizza. Making like a super veggie pizza. So Matt wants extra carb, so I have suggested that we put on some pasta as well. I think that's a very good suggestion for me. This is golf free. <laughs> Pizzas are cooking, Gossip Girl is on, my new addiction, and this one kindly volunteered to help me make this because I'm being lazy. So how do they go on safely without falling off? This is a living. These are vegetarian meatballs that we found. And oh my gosh, these pizzas look insane. We've not gone for a side of pasta as much as I'd like one. Ta-da! Obviously we need to clear up everything because oh my gosh, everything comes with so much mess. But cute little coffee table. We love it and now we eat. Good morning, guys. I am just in my pajamas because I am about to make a cake <laughs> for breakfast. I'm trying out some new recipes. I don't know why on camera this part of my face looks like it's really tan compared to everywhere else because it's just not like that in the mirror. It looks like I've got a mustache. Oh well, rocking the mustache. Never ever discriminate against mustaches. So I'm making a cake. I'm doing it with protein powder and eggs and a few other things. So I'm trialing out some new recipes and then I'm gonna tidy up some stuff. This is like my press pile that really annoys me being there, but it's there to remind me that I need to take pictures of it. So I'm gonna get that done and then I can crack on with a workout. But I want my cake to be baking whilst I do my workout because then I can have it after my workout. That's the plan. Other vlog, what you check every night. And screen time. She averages about 30 hours a day. <laughs> so I've deliberately left my phone in another room and he's gone and brought it in. So Matt sat and brushed my hair through for me this morning because I had literal dreadlocks in it. I think it's because the way I slept on it or because Matt always like massages my head and literally gives me dreadlocks. These little things have revolutionized my life. I bought them and they are so easy. They're just pushing cakes out of. I don't think I'm gonna bake without silicone anymore. It's so much easier. Also, 
It's a bad day. I've finally run out of Manuka honey. I'm literally devastated. I need to order some more. It doesn't look like a traditional cake. There's no flour in it, but still a cake, so I'm waiting for it to cool. So I forgot to show you, I bought myself these in the sale, and I love these tablecloths so much. Kind of very, I don't know what the word is, shabby? Um, bohemian? I hope that they wash okay, they're actually really big. And as they were in the sale, I just ordered two more, so I'm gonna have four of them now. I just think they're gonna be so nice for like future dinner parties. And then I bought my mum some of these egg cups for her birthday, and I bought myself two while they're in the sale, because they're just so cute, how nice. Going in. Chucky chips on top. Oh, that's quite a lot. It's more of like a tart, I think, because there's no flour in it. Oh, put them in. Yummy. White chocolate chips are superior. I'm sure of it. So good, he's adding more. <laughs> he loves it. We're finally having the house cleaned top to bottom tomorrow. And I don't know if anyone else does this, but does anyone else clean and tidy their whole house before someone else cleans it? Because that's what I'm doing. I'm just organizing all our recycling, everything and everything so clean and so fresh and it feels amazing. New table, for those who were wondering, everything is gonna be cleared from it. I just have a few more things to organize. Guys, I also just wanna say thank you so much for chatting to me in the comments on my last video. You were all so lovely and so supportive. So many of you on Instagram as well. I haven't really talked about it much, um, it's hard because I want to tell you guys so much, but then at the same time, I hold quite a lot of private stuff back as well. So I've been going through a pretty rough time with a health scare. Haven't actually told anyone what the health scare was, but I finally got my letter through from the hospital, which I'm so grateful and fortunate for. So basically, I found something that just wasn't right. I contacted my doctor, my doctor freaked out urgently referred me and then I had an urgent referral within two weeks and it was so scary. I then went to the hospital and even walking through the sign that says cancer, it just really like made me so scared and it brought back the worst health anxiety, waiting is horrendous. Went for my appointment, then had to wait two weeks and I was sat by my phone every single day, unable to like do anything because I was constantly like, am I gonna get a call? Is it gonna be a bad call? I was just freaking out. Finally got my letter through 15 days after my second appointment and feel so blessed and lucky that I found out it was benign, aka non-cancerous. I also want to acknowledge that I am one of the lucky ones, you know, I have had friends who have lost their lives to cancer at age 21, I have family members who have had very serious health issues and are still going through them, so I acknowledge that I am the lucky one and you should never ever ever take your health for granted. I never have any way, but my life was on pause and I feel like I just feel really blessed. I feel like I can crack on now, go back to being myself a little bit, and then maybe in the near future, I'll talk about this to spread some awareness. But what I want to say to you guys is, someone messaged me on Instagram and told me about a charity called Healthy Minds. If you are waiting for test results and you are scared, it's an amazing charity that you can chat to. So that's a really good tip. And also I just wanna say like, do get yourself checked out. It's better to be safe than sorry. And my heart is with you if you are going through results. Some people won't have had good news when I got my letter. And I really do acknowledge how blessed I am. Every single day is a blessing. And I know that more than anyone with some of the stuff that friends and family have been through. So live every single day positively if you can. I know it's not easy, but yeah. So I just want to say thank you so much guys for the love and support. Like it means everything to me. I need to get out of these pajamas now and go and do a workout. No excuses, Emma. We've run out of berries, but for lunch, I've got some Greek yogurt, some honey, a little sachet I have found, and some bananas. Oh, that workout was sweaty. Look at me. But I wanted to come on and say, you never regret a workout. So if you're watching this and you haven't worked out today, put some trainers on and if it's safe, go for a nice distanced walk or do a workout in your garden or in your lounge like I just did. I put something on my Insta stories this morning about working out and I said, oh, I feel really fitter from lockdown because I don't really have any excuses, but I still managed to make excuses and the motivation has been lacking in the last week actually. 
Usually I prefer morning workouts, but today it took me until 6 p.m. But I don't regret it and I'm glad I got it done. I just wish I got it done earlier. I just could not be bothered. So now we're gonna whip up a Japanese feast. We're gonna make our first ever at home ramen. I'm so excited for noodles. My goodness, I'm just putting it on my favorite thing, the pasta spider. My best buy ever. It's fantastic. And you're using yeah. it for gyoza's timer on. Got three pans on the go. We've got some noodles, some broth, and the gyoza's. <laughs> Much messier than it looks. Finger bowls is the most fun part. On appetite, how amazing. So I'm gonna leave this vlog here guys. I just wanna say thank you so much. I feel like I've got food on my face. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, it means so, so, so much to me. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. Come say hi on Instagram. Leave a comment, let me know how you guys are. I love chatting to you guys. I'm happy to be back vlogging. Lots of stuff coming up and I just cannot wait to share it with you. So thank you for following the journey with me and sticking with me. And thank you as always for all your support and all your love. I was literally blown away at the comments on last week's vlog.